Hey everybody, Will here doing a quick video update from the garden. Uh, we've harvested lots of sugar enhanced sweet corn this year, uh, all of it. Uh, we got some turmeric and ginger coming in. Uh, the turmeric's here, the ginger's there, they're doing well. Um, and we did the three sisters technique this year. So we have beans finally fruiting off of our corn here. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we got beans growing up our corn stalk. And if you look down on the bottom, we have watermelons and we've harvested two over 20 pound watermelons. The ones we harvested yesterday was um, uh, almost 26 pounds. Um, so yeah, the watermelon served as a nice ground cover. Uh, we even did some scarification. I wrote my son's name here on the watermelon. Uh, but the watermelon served as a nice ground cover, covered up all the ground underneath the corn, kept everything nice and moist. The corn grew up and provided a pole for the beans to grow on. So now we have beans growing up the pole as the beans fix nitrogen in the ground for both the corn and the watermelon. So just like I said, we got hefty watermelons. Uh, a couple of them were over 20 pounds, about 25 pounds, and got some more growing around here, uh, doing very well. So this three sisters technique worked very well for us this year. Um, harvested lots of peppers around here. Had all of our jalapenos throughout here. You can still see there's like a jalapeno growing right on right on there. Uh, tomatillos grew over there, so we mixed those for some green salsa. Um, we let our lambs quarters grow up every year. That's uh, doing well. We let that go to seed and we eat the seed uh, related to quinoa. We use the seed in our oatmeal. It tastes really good. Uh, it's our black diamond heirloom watermelon. So they're going to grow like a, like a round, uh, darker watermelons. It's uh, Wanda there. Um, the asparagus came up nice. It shot out new asparagus all year. You can see this asparagus down here is a little shorter than the rest of them. But yeah, it's shooting out new spears all year. Look, there's another new spear. So since spring all the way till right now, it's the end of August and it's still shooting out new spears of asparagus. Uh, we let our romaine lettuce go to seed here, so it'll drop and we won't have to pick up any more seeds. Uh, we had some bush beans, black bush beans behind that we harvested off of. Uh, the aronia didn't produce any fruits or anything this year, but we're going to let it go. It's perennial. Uh, we have this about uh, seven foot lamb's quarters plant right here that we're going to harvest seed from. Uh, some pumpkins went out early, but we're going to get some more in the ground for later in the season. Uh, we had some millet growing. Uh, that grew from some extra chicken feed that they didn't get to, which is awesome. So we're going to recycle that and bring it back for chicken feed, but we're going to also play around with uh, cooking it up and seeing how that tastes for us. So we have a couple heads of millet there, uh, doing great. Uh, Lydia just bought this chicken coop, and she even built the ramp in there, so that's super, super awesome. Uh, we're going to get that filled in with some uh, some shredded wood uh, for them to nest in, and we're going to also go ahead and pick up some wood chips from the local composting facility, and I'm going to inoculate it with the garden giant King Strafaria mushroom, Strafaria rugoso annulata, and uh, we'll, that will act as a uh, biological will, will, filter. Will, will, will. <laughs> That's oh hilarious. My oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, um, so we'll have wood chips at the bottom and the mushrooms will be living in there and the mushrooms will actually be eating the chicken poop, keeping the coop from smelling really bad. Um, we have their own compost in this area here. Uh, we have a tobacco that came up and it's probably gonna drop seeds soon. We're gonna collect that. Um, a lot of the cherry tomato came up as a weed. We've been using those. Um, I just harvested a bunch of goji berries off there, which I gave to Leo. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting a picture of that shortly. Um, no fruits from the uh, sea buckthorn. I probably think I need another plant. Uh, make sure I have uh, a diversity of sexes. Um, another black bean plant that we harvested lots of beans from. Collard uh, plants, collard greens were growing here. Uh, some peppers. Some of our peppers didn't do good in this garden this year. I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe it was the uh, density of, of, uh, of leaves and, and plants here, uh, but they did way better, more isolated over in the the Moin garden. Um, so yeah, uh, quick quick run through. We have some Jerusalem artichokes. I'm probably going to harvest there sooner than later. Um, other than that, it's been our big mess, our big do-nothing garden. Once it gets into the summer, we really don't have to do anything because the moisture maintains in the wood chips down there and it just keeps itself going. But if you want to get 25 pound watermelons, I do recommend watering it when it gets dry. Um, so yeah, our Russian kale, our curly kale, our dino kale, a uh, nice diversity of food, lots of food all year. We harvested we harvested almost 100 cantaloupes between this garden and the uh, garden in Lemoyne. So just been a great year. Emmett, what are you doing, man? All right, and no, yeah, another gin, uh, another turmeric plant. So we're gonna get lots of turmeric and ginger here in the fall. So, yep, you can grow lots of food in a little spot. Uh, we're gonna start getting our eggs here in the next month or so. And uh, yeah, this is uh, how you do urban homesteading uh, right here in New Carmel, in Pennsylvania. If you have any questions, drop that below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Share on any of your favorite permaculture blogs, gardening blogs, backyard chicken blogs, permaculture blogs, anything like that. Uh, other than that's been William Padilla Brown. I hope you all can do something really great for your family and for your neighborhood.